Hi Aries, welcome to your angel reading for the day. I hope you're doing great. So let's go ahead and pull some of the messages, see what comes up for you. Oh wow. Um, walk away from the illusion towards the truth. Show me the right path to follow. Okay. It's on the bottom. God will lead the way. This is good. They were convinced by the power of miraculous signs and wonders and by the power of God's spirit. Okay. So this deck here is the Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine. It's kind of an older deck. I got the Ace of Wands, something very inspiring, exciting, a great time to start a new business, have confidence. It's a time of a wonderful new opportunity related to creativity, career, pursuing your dreams. It's a card of action. Inspiration is also what I think of with the Ace of Fire. You're all fired up about something. You're springing into action. So the ones that fell on the floor um, is the king of wands. Uh, it's time for you to step up and be the leader. This is your moment in the sun, so move into the light and shine for all to see. It's about a person who has charisma, who's inspiring, very confident, a leader, an entrepreneur. And then it flipped out with positive recognition. Congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly. It's time for you to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. Um, express yourself openly and honestly. Those around you are trustworthy. Be open to an unexpected opportunity. Okay, really good. What was on the bottom there? Eight of Wands, something taking off very fast. There's a lot going on, very busy energy. Okay, so let's see what we're getting here for Aries. This is like something that inspires you, you are going to go ahead and start or take action on and you have to take the lead, you have to be the one to like get up and start this. Wow. So in the Aries daily, I got a nine of swords as your energy. And it's coming up again. There's something here about um, worrisome, bothersome thoughts. Ideas in your mind. So many ideas that are linked to um, challenges. It could be like you just feel like there's so many challenges going on right now. Um, it can be thinking about worst case scenarios, like thinking about negative thoughts. Okay, really good. What's challenging that is we're gonna have the star, which is healing, hope, hope and healing and release. So you're gonna be able to release this situation. You're gonna be able to put it behind you like water under the bridge. This is the water bearer. She's pouring out the water, which is emotions. She's just sort of cleansing and purifying herself. We have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy, institutions, marriage, large institutions that follow a set of orders or rules. Recent past, we have a page of cups. Maybe you received a message from someone that gave you hope in your situation. It could be anything at all. And it, this message you got from someone gave you hope. All Aries angel message, please. All Aries angel message. All Aries angel message. 
all Aries, angel message. The Ace of Cups. Look at this card. Look at how beautiful the card is. It's the sun shining brightly, the offer of emotional fulfillment, the offer of peace and happiness coming towards you. This can lead towards your Ten of Cups. Um, there's a very powerful energy coming in today because we have Mercury and Venus and Libra. Libra being the house of justice, fairness, equality. Um, it's ruled by Venus. We're getting here a king of air, a professional person, someone speaking their truth. Um, someone making a decision that will have a consequence as well. King of air has a consequence. Um, I feel it's a positive consequence. I feel like there's a person here who sees all sides of an issue. There could be something unfair going on because we have the devil on the bottom. Um, the Ace of Water comes in, a new potential for peace, happiness. You do have the star card in the crossing. So I feel like there is something about release and healing of whatever it was that was really bothering you a lot or stressful or mentally um, challenging. Okay, what have we got coming in here? Aries energy. So you have a professional. You have the king of swords. Swords can be challenging, but they can also be intellectual, smart person, highly educated person. Someone who would make a, a wise choice. We have here your energy is queen of coin, practical, wise, earth sign energy. This is what also came out in the daily. Practical, wise, good with money. Um, okay, around you we have someone feels trapped, isolated, alone, worrisome thoughts. Just someone who's quite distressed maybe even. So we're getting here the temperance. You're wanting alchemy, balance, patience, cooperation, you're trying to maneuver a situation so that it works out for everyone, I feel. You get the Ace of Rods, exciting opportunities. There are, so there are two Aces coming into your awareness. So there's two new situations or new information, a burst of inspiration, a burst of excitement. What is this Ace of Wands? So you have the Ace of Action right here. It's a wonderful new opportunity for your career, pursuing your dreams. Okay, so we got the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck and good fortune starting to turn in your favor. Positive change. It's good that there's positive change because it looks like you are really mentally like taxed with something. It's like, it could be taxes even because I'm thinking tax all of, a, all of a sudden. It's like tax, but you're taxed mentally. Okay, look at this. We have the Knight of Coin and the Nine of Cups. We have a wish coming true and an offer coming in. Somebody is giving you an opportunity. And we have the Nine of Cups. The wish fulfillment, the emotional satisfaction that you will get because of this change in circumstances. So there's a change in the circumstances. Um... It's a good thing that you're staying grounded. There's an energy around you of fear. Someone around you is quite fearful. Four of Swords. There's a pulling away of someone's energy. What is the King of Air representing here? What is the King of Air representing? King of Air. Three of Cups, Celebrations. Good times, you know, uh, toasting. Could be a financial reward you're receiving because you're coming up as queen of coin, which is financial security. We have the empress on the bottom, Venus, abundance, motherhood, fertility, 
flourishing abundance with the chariot behind it. Fast forward movement, page of pentacles behind that. Oops. The sun card here and the empress. Something working out in your favor. Something that is um, going to make you feel very happy. You know, we have these two aces, ace of wands, the ace of action and the ace of water, emotions. It clearly shows like there's something going on in your mind. It might not be great distress, but it could be where you think about like worst case scenarios and they don't stop. It's like you just keep thinking like, well, what if this happens or what if that happens or this could happen? Um, what is the Hierophant underlying energy here? The Hierophant energy is slow. It's the energy of Taurus and they have the keys at their feet, which means they have the key to unlock the situation, the problem. They can hold the solution, but they follow a set of moral and ethical standards. Um, you know, it looks like he's flashing a peace sign right here, but it's it's something religious. It's something like um, related to God or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's a cardinal, so it's a, a very slow moving energy. However, it is very benevolent. It's someone who has um, an ethical and moral, moral principle to follow. What is the Hierophant? Sometimes it can be marriage. What is the Hierophant? Okay, the Two of Cups. We have a partnership, we have harmony, we have love. Now, it can be anything where there's two people coming together, cooperation, balance, magician on the bottom. Somebody is trying really hard here to get out of an unsatisfying situation. Five of Pentacles can be poverty. The Fool card was here um, with the Three of Coins. Um, there could have been a situation here where someone wasn't thinking about the future, they weren't planning, but now there's the energy of coming in to fix a situation, repair a situation. Um, really good. The outcome is great. Um, a person around you is very worried. There's like a feeling of st like stress and trapped in their mind. Like, it could also be the way someone sees you. Like, someone could see you as, you know, that person's really worried about something. Your energy comes up as earth, grounded. Compassion. Someone might be showing you compassion today as well, whatever this means for you. Um, could be you showing compassion to someone. It shows a new opportunity coming in that changes your mental distress. Um, there's going to be a, a bond. Listen deeply. Okay. Bottom of the deck, clear, cancel, and release. Okay, Aries, this is your angel reading. Thank you very much for tuning in to my channel. Please subscribe if you have not already. Check out my website, starseed1111.com. Thanks and take care.